Hey, Randy from Nerd Out. It is Friday, June 3rd or 4th. I think it's June 4th. And uh, here we are, Nerd Out, getting ready for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to make this one a little short for two reasons. One, uh, I'm I'm exhausted, to be quite honest. And uh, two, because uh, Hasbro is going to re uh, release information on the new G.I. Joe figures. And I, I'm just going to be honest. I really am excited to see who they who they announce for the G.I. Joe classified line. So uh, just going to do a little walkthrough here. I have gotten... Uh, a sick amount of stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see what first catches my eye. Oh, this is a big one. Um, I got a really, really large Simpsons collection. And uh, what I'm showing you doesn't even uh, touch the surface of how many Simpson figures I have. Um, I still haven't found space to house them. So if you're looking for Simpsons figures, uh, there's a good chance I have them here. Um, I redid the Transformers case and again I still wasn't able to get everything I wanted in. I got I had a lot of new G1 and uh, Beast Wars stuff which I still haven't gotten in but uh, you don't care about my excuses right so let's move on. Uh, I got the Megatron and the Ultra Magnus those are the leader class those are nice. Uh, refilled some vintage Star Wars stuff look at this fantastic fantastic um, Death Star playset. I loved this as a kid because it had all the translucent red pieces and it had Darth Vader's chamber and that like freaked me out as a kid. I was like, oh, you know, that was a big moment. Anyways, I do have some other um, nice vintage Star Wars playsets I'm going to put out, but uh, who knows when and where. Uh, I got this cool little Batmobile. Um, got some uh, Allen Iverson, uh, Pokemon, and Flash. Um, what are they called? Funko Pops? Oh, wait, wait, where's the, where's my favorite? Oh, no, I already talked about my, my Isaiah Ta No, maybe I didn't. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and talk about it because it's, uh, it's Isaiah Thomas. Uh, maybe I did talk about it. All right, I need some sleep. Uh, I'll get the Ren Stimpies probably this weekend. The reactions. I know I'm going so fast. It's driving you all nuts. Uh, oh, this is a big one. Let's see. Let me slowly come around here. And see a ton of new wrestlers in that little wrestle thing. This is cool. This is the interactive um, R2-D2. Let's see if I can give you a little show real quick. I, it takes like, it's really cool. It takes like a second for him to just sign, kind of warm up though. So, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him to do any uh, activity unless I sit here for like four minutes. But with that said, it is very, very cool. And it does interact really well. We'll, we'll let him warm up while uh, while we're talking about other stuff. Uh, that's also, this is a really cool, oh, see, look at R2, he's already talking. Um, this is cool, too. Action always comes first, sir. Cover me! I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. All units, fire at will! That's pretty cool. Um, I got some really nice mask vehicles. Remember, mask, mobile armor, strike, command. There's the rhino back there. It's probably the centerpiece of the collection, unless you call it about Boulder Hill. But uh, I love Mask. I actually like Raven, which is that that black Corvette. But I always pretended it's a, it, it transforms into a boat. But I always pretended it transformed into a jet because a jet is a little bit cooler than a boat, in my opinion. But whatever. Let's see. Coming over to Star Wars. I got uh, restocked the Vintage Collection Mandalorian Darth Vader. You know what? I got to turn R2 off. He's already driving me crazy. Hey, R2, you got to chill. Yeah, someone buy this right away. All right, cool. Um, I restocked this uh, Rogue One Darth Vader vintage collection. I think it's probably the best four inch, three and three fourth inch scale Vader on the market. So I've got those, plenty of those. I also have the retro Mandalorian figures and I really like them. There's IG-11, there's Reef Karga, uh, there is Cara Dune, there is the Mandalorian and the child which I already had. And there's one more. Oh yeah, hold on, where is he? Maybe I didn't even... No, I have him. I have tons of them. Ooh, where is he hiding? Oh, I gotta restock him. Okay, well, uh, Quill is in there too. I've gotta go and restock Quill. So I'll do that um, when I'm done with this video and before I start my G.I. Joe uh, classified re reveals. All right, so again, uh, put some more G.I. Joe stuff out. And uh, here, I'll give you a little sneak peek at some of that Simpsons stuff. That's just some of the Simpsons stuff. All right. 
Anyways, uh, Nerd Out is at 8106 West Nine Mile Road in Oak Park, Michigan, just west of downtown Ferndale, Metro Detroit area. And uh, just so you know, all those, the the consumers who don't live anywhere near the store and, and uh, can't make this trip out here, which I totally understand, I just want to let you know I hear you. And I would love to ship things to you. The, the only problem is it's on me. Is, is uh, This is like a one-person operation at this point. Now, please hold tight. Because as Nerd Out grows, and it will, I will get uh, some help. And I can do more online sales for you. With that said, if you see something in the Instagram or whatever, feel free to shoot me an email. I will try my best to get back to you. And I will try my best to see what I can do about shipping it to you in the U.S. But again, please just be, you know, just please be aware that I'm just a one, one guy show here. Anyways, nerd out. Uh, again, 8106 West Nine Mile Road. Buy, sell, trade. Open 11 to 7 Friday, 11 to 7 Saturday, and Sunday 12 to 5. And uh, it's pretty fun stuff. I always get new stuff. So until next time, nerd out.